Hi guys, so uh, today I received my letter for the PRNC and um, I was just having a look through and I thought I might as well tell you what to expect is that now I know. So I got this first letter, well, it's quite a large pack and this first letter basically is explaining um, that you're going on a PRNC, it's, it gives you a date um, and it gives you a quick brief of what to expect. So. Uh, the aim of this course is to prepare and confirm that you are ready for entry into HMS Rally. Uh, whilst on the course you will engage Royal Navy physical training, uh, visit a Royal Navy ship or submarine and receive presentations on your chosen branch and other topics of interest. Um, and then it, it, it goes on to tell you about if you fail to reach the required standards then your um, date of entry will be moved as you have to do this course again. Um, it just briefly talks about that you have to stay in a naval mess deck um, later on in the pack it talks about how you have loan uniform so you will be dressed and dressed and addressed as uh, Royal Navy personnel uh, to give you the most experience as someone in the Royal Navy um, so yeah uh, then there's a little code of conduct which is three pages long and this basically telling you about uh, your attendance um, and how like punctuality is important. You have to when you when you go to um, this place, HMS uh, Caledonian, uh, Cla uh, Caledonia. That's the one. Uh, you have to arrive in shirt and tie, suit and booted, and you leave in suit and booted, and they'll give you the um, loan clothes between the, those times. Um, it also talks about like uh, the No Discrimination Act, um, smoking policies, where you'll be staying, but you know you'll be in the mess. <clears throat> Talked about alcohol and how you can't consume or um, consume alcohol on your way to um, your PRNC or at the, uh, in the grounds. Uh, oh, and it also talks about uh, photographs and mobile phones. Uh, no photography is, is to be undertaken without express permission of the Royal Navy Aquin Centre staff. Uh, staff. Um, also it says how mobile phones should be switched off at all times during the PRNC. But it says however they may be used during allocated program slots. And then it goes on to say public telephones are also available. Um, and then yeah so that's kind of a quick over look at the code of conduct. It's taught it all now. We've got a little bit about the um, like what you should wear sports wise. So, sports clothing, two t shirts, sports shorts, uh, but it says no longer than knee length, first day purposes. Uh, suitable running shoes. Now, for running shoes, it does not mean these examples um, because they are thin soled and it's you are more liable to get shin splints, and um, which obviously isn't good. So what you're going to need is some nice thick soled ones and also they're going to help you to run. So um, if you want to do well in this course I guess you should be doing um, running beforehand with nice thick soled and they're going to help you run faster as well which is also good. Um, it also talks about your um, uh, pre joining fitness test. Uh, you're going to have to do the same again so 2.4 kilometer run but this time it's on a track or road. So I'd get training for that. So go for a uh, 2,400 meter run um, and then you're also going to do a swim now um, the swim is basically uh, 50 meters you have to swim 50 meters in, in under 4 minutes um, enter and get out of the pool with no assistance and fully clothed I think you wear like overalls uh, yeah, it just talks about what you should bring. It says two bath towels um, and then toilet gear, including soap, shaving equipment for men, hairbrush, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, yeah, and it, said, it just talks about like all the travel is paid for. So I'll be waiting for my travel card now. And um, so that's on behalf of the MOD. Um, they'll meet you when you get to the designated railway station and um, then there's a little Royal Navy Aquient timetable a quaint Aquient a quaint timetable um, uh, and it's literally just goes for the day so like you get there at um, 2 o'clock 
on the uh, Monday, which will be for me. And it, the first, it's kind of a half day on the Monday. Then on Tuesday you have like drill training. Um, you get a brief on your branch of preference. Have a look at the armory. Do the swim test and the PGFT. Um, and then just like some fun bits towards the end, uh, like the team quiz we've got here. And yeah, uh, same sort of thing on Wednesday. But um, you go and visit your uh, ship or submarine. And so that will take up most of the day, and you do like circuit training there, and just see what life's like on a ship, basically. And uh, that you basically you send spend most of the day there uh, for day three, and the day start at half six until half eleven. Um, so long days. And finally, day four, you you're going to be leaving by eleven to twelve o'clock, so it's a short day. Um, Wake up call, half six, breakfast, basic skills assessment, formal OICs rounds, uh, polished boots and returnal kit, uh, course wash up with OIC issue certificates, and then course members transported to I Inverkeithing Station, Edinburgh Airport, or depart independently. So that is kind of a brief on your PRNC. Uh, sorry this video has been a bit long. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to give you as much information if you haven't got it yet. So thanks guys, I'll probably, my next update will probably be when I go visit the research ship coming into Ipswich Dock soon. So, see you later.